All right, guys. So this is a rune to decapitation edition. So um, just a little bit about it. I mean, firstly, thank you very much to the uh, um, to the publisher Ragnarok Game and to the developer Studio Three Sixty Nine for providing the channel with a key for this. Um, when when this does go up on YouTube, guys, and this is a uh, this is a Twitch stream, but I'm recording it for YouTube as well. But uh, when it does go up on YouTube, I will be uh, putting a link down below for you. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of a rundown of the game. Uh, abandoned and sabotaged by the original developers, Rune 2 was left in a state of disarray and it's been raised from the ashes by Studio 369 and has now emerged for a Steam launch as a re-envisioned story of betrayal, rebirth and revenge. Severing that old human head has freed Rune 2 and it is now a glorious Viking adventure. So... Um, which is awesome. This this uh, this is due planned for release on the fourteenth of November. Um, so it's it's three or four days away from release as it is now. So um, so just keep that in mind. If you do want to add it to your wish list, then definitely add it to your wish list, guys. So tomato sauce, how you doing? Nice Australian weather is confusing. You get sunburnt one day and then your driveway gets flooded the next. It has been a very, very hot day today. All right, so we've got, uh, I've got music turned off on this. Unfortunately, oh, the music would be so good in this. I'm sure of it. Like the music in the intro was absolutely brilliant. But uh, I do have to turn it off for uh, YouTube reasons, obviously. So we're going to do a campaign, guys. I haven't played the Rune series and I'm actually really excited about this, so... Let's check it out. Give it a go. Releases in four days time if you want to wish list it on Steam. So campaign, single player. Now you can do co-op, which again is awesome. And I might be speaking to the devs and seeing if I can get another few keys for this. If um, some of you guys are interested in playing it with me um, for some more YouTube -y fun and some more Twitchy fun. So we are going to go for a single player game. We'll create a new character in this. Hoppy's got his thumbs up. Uh, character name. Uh, oh, come on. A good Viking name, guys. A good Viking name. I mean, I should really call him what I call my characters, what I call my male characters in all of these games, shouldn't I? Um, no, we're, we're going to call him Floki because Floki was my favourite in... Uh, he was my absolute favourite in... Um, in uh, Vikings the series, so let's call him Floki. Should we do a female or should we do a male character? What do you reckon, guys? Female or male? Waiting for chat. Waiting for chat to give me some type of an idea. A little bit sunburnt. Let's go a little bit sunburnt. There we go. Uh, let's see. Male character says rail. Male. He respelt that. Okay, we need to have ourselves a lovely, lovely Viking moustache. Uh, what have we got? We've got, yeah, no, definitely have to have the Viking moustache. Colour, uh, style for tattoos. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Rest of chat mail, yeah. All right, we want some. We want some form of uh, at least neck tattoos. Yeah, that's that's looking pretty cool. Mature stream. Yes, this. Uh, yes, good. Good idea. It, uh, it's probably worth noting to ev for everybody that uh, this may possibly contain some pretty graphic stuff. So keep that in mind. Um, a lot of blood and gore and perhaps some sexual references. So thank you for that, Lana Banana. All right, he's looking pretty awesome, isn't he? Oh, yeah, that's looking pretty, pretty nasty. That is looking very nasty. That is looking even more nasty. This is what I imagine Hoppy would look like if he was a Viking. Oh. 
Yep, no, that's classic. That's classic Viking right there. Classic adult themes, correct. Ah, it's nice. It's nice, Rail. Your, your new Twitch color is very nice, mate. Uh, blonde hair, should we? Well, you know, Viking. Yeah, we'll go blonde hair. We could try and make ourselves a Floki character, couldn't we? Like, oh, I do, I do like that moustache, though. Oh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. And that is pretty awesome. What do you reckon? I reckon we're going to have to go with the long beard. Beautiful. Uh, cancel that. Okay, Floki. Let's confirm that. Uh, let's see. Dodge and lunge. Let's go on normal. Are you sure? Long yes. The uh, thunder hasn't quite hit us yet banana but it won't be too far away so if anybody hears any thunder or anything that is the reason why <laughs> because uh if you hear any uh rumblings of the North, tales of Ragnar Jarlson, a fierce warrior who risked all to avenge his father and stop Loki from ending the world peace reigned for decades but the trickster broke free from the shackles that restrained him and brought chaos to the nine realms and now the end of the world is upon us Ragnarok. Midgard is torn by war, storms, and the wrath of fierce beasts. It was foretold Ragnarok would end with Loki's death. Nothing has happened as foretold. Loki has sealed himself on the Vigrid plane to avoid his fate. Awaken, warrior. Rise up from the underworld and return to the mortal realm. Do what the gods cannot. End Ragnarok. Let nothing stand in your way. Awesome. Yes, it does seem like there are quite a few Viking games coming out. All right. What have we got here? Welcome, mortal, to a land more dead than alive. I am Heimdall, watcher of the gods, and guardian of the Bifrost. All right, just... Uh... Do not deceive you. You live again, though at great cost. Mortal, time is more precious than you know, so pay close attention to my directions. Sounds like me, do you reckon? To this body. You are disoriented. Move around, find your balance. Okay, beautiful. Now, arm yourself with whatever weapon you might find in the vicinity. Excellent. This is a little bit of Viking. I, I need I need myself a uh, I need myself a, a an axe. I'd you ask how this is possible, mortal? With the last of my power, I have plucked your soul from the depths of hell and bore you What's across that? the Rainbow Bridge to Midgard. Though I have no right to ask, I have nowhere else to turn. Would you help us, mortal? Would you take the mantle of fate's champion? And bring an end to Loki's sacrilege. Yes, I would. Indeed, I would. Was once home to All right, what are these? Clan. Brave warriors, favored by the gods. Recipe: leather armor. Sweet. Craft shelter. Somewhere we might discuss your fate. All right, I'm kind of, I'm kind of trying to listen to what he's saying. Respite for even the hardiest warrior. I am trying to listen to what he's saying, but uh, also doing a whole pile of other stuff as well. So we just unlocked a crafting recipe. Uh, so this is our uh, side quests and lore buildings. A longhouse is vital for survival. Ragnarok's threats are numerous. Beasts, monsters, the elements in a longhouse. One can keep important tools secure and ready. Uh, campfires. Yep, beautiful. Okay. So run up the hill and explore the nearby unbuilt village. Reach the stockade on the hill. Beautiful. Lovely. Yeah, well, it looks like we might be able to at least craft some of that stuff, to be honest. So, all right. When a structure is dam damaged, repairs take precedence. All right, so we need wood pieces. Okay, so can we, uh, that's a work axe. Beautiful. All right, let's just have a look up here. I didn't realize that there was going to be some uh, grand hammer of wood. I didn't realize that there was going to be some... Um, 
a whole pile of um, like building and stuff like that in here. So a work axe can harvest trees and ore deposits in one hit. Open your inventory with I, click and hold the work axe to equip it or drag it to the radial menu for quick selection during gameplay. What is the radial menu? Oh, that's interesting. Go into some sort of combat mode there. Okay, beautiful. It, it kind of looks a little bit like it in, in, in some senses, most definitely. So uh, let's see, what have we got? We've got wood pieces. Uh, what else do we have? Whereabouts are out? That's our shield uh, used to build equipment. So we need to cut down some wood. Uh, let's see, we've got an axe. Where, where are the axes that we've... Uh, whereabouts are the axes? We've got two axes on us. Skills over here. Sonic Blast, Endurance, Next Level Blessing. Wow, there's quite a skills tree on it as well, isn't there? Uh, let's see, we've got one skill point. So we've got uh, Invigorate, Next Level Active. Uh, increase your health regeneration by five times for four seconds. Uh, next level blessing reduces stamina use by 20. Uh, bloodlust gain 10% critical chance while you are bloodlusted. Nice. Cost one skill point. Cost one skill point. Uh, right click to learn. Can't do that at the moment. Crafting. Okay, there's a, well, there's a fair bit of crafting on here, isn't there? The more of us. Where's the banana? Okay, let's go back into that. There we go. Uh, character details. Now it does say, does say harvest materials. It does say that, um, that we should be able to equip our ax, but I'm just trying to figure out where our ax is because uh, we've got two axes on us but we can't equip them. There we go on the fast menu, on the radial menu. All right, let's let's uh, let's do some chopping down and see what we can do. So this is, um, this is like a, um, a reinvigoration of the game um, after it was taken over, so. All right, it's kind of a one hit thing there. Let's grab all of that. I'm not sure how much we need on here. Uh, we also need some iron ore. So where do we get iron ore from? Probably from this stuff here, I would guess. That's flint. So that's flint there. Is this all flint as well? Uh, stone pieces. That's uh, flint and stone pieces there as well. Where do we get our iron ore from? I wonder. Must be maybe from, from some of this stuff over here somewhere. Can't get anything from there. Ah, uh, there's some iron ore there. And some more flint. How much iron ore do we need for this? Oh, uh, we got three pieces. Uh, wood pieces. There we go. We have built ourselves a forge. Okay, uh, click and hold the yep. Select uh, consume or equip an item in your radial menu. Hold middle click then release when the item is highlighted. Beautiful, okay, sweet. Let's have a look at this. Uh, hold to interact. All right, so we can uh, material chunk of iron useful for crafting. Uh, wood piece, uh, tree pitch material, sticky tree pitch useful for crafting equipment and ships. <gasps> Serious? We're going to be able to craft ships and stuff. What have we got here? We need to craft ourselves a campfire. There we go. Perfect. We've done that. Uh, hunting spear. We might as well do some of this stuff while we're at it. Uh, we have unlocked... Okay, so we probably need to go hunting and stuff as well. So we've got a hunting spear now. Uh, let's see. What's our... Uh, 
So I use the work axe to chop down five trees. So we've got to chop down five trees before this will uh, before this will continue on. So we need to chop down that and that. Vikings. Uh, use the work axe to mine five rocks. Okay, we should really, I should really have been following that, but you guys know me. You guys know me. We're going to have to go looking for rocks now because uh, cause there ain't five rocks around. There's two. So it's going to be interesting then if we're building a little, kind of a little village and stuff like that, uh, it's going to be interesting as to whether or not... Um, we actually end up having other people come and join us. I think we can in multiplayer, obviously, but do we get to do that in uh, single player as well? We may do. Should be pretty cool. Go and uh, just get these to get rid of all of this. Uh, there's some more iron ore. Beautiful. Inside the structures you build, you might find the means to heal your wounds, cook food. Store items, repair worn weapons and armor, or forge new equipment. Each building serves different needs. Can we get into that? No. I thought... Uh, actually... It did highlight then, didn't it? It's highlighting. Can't get into it at the moment. So we can repair our equipment over here, which is pretty cool. We probably really need to repair this. Uh, open the chest standing next to it and interacting with it. There we go. That's why. So it's all part of the tutorial. We should really be doing the uh, tutorial, shouldn't we? Uh, leather scraps and wood piece. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll run through the tutorial on this one and see how that goes. And uh, and then we will continue on. Salvage old sword. Old, uh, salvage your rusty sword. Okay, I'm guessing that maybe we do that here. Uh, let's see. Do we have to unequip it? Hunting spear, grand hammer of wood, a leather harness. Campfire we've already done. I wonder how we salvage. Uh, an aging sword. Is that how we salvage? Did we just salvage it? I think we may have. I think we may have just salvaged our sword. Nope. We just dropped it on the ground. All right. So it says to salvage our sword. Let's have a look in. Uh, let's have a look in here. Uh, we probably want to stick that in there. We don't. We don't really need to, do we? So, how do we salvage the sword? Attack damage nine. Uh, nope. Crafting doesn't doesn't necessarily say how we do that. Uh, it also says we have one skill point to spend, and that we need to right click to learn. There we go. Uh, a drag to the hot bar. Oh, that one's a... Uh, there we go. Beautiful. All right, so how do we... How do we salvage something? That's our vault there. Uh, let's see. Salvage to receive... Okay, I can't go into, I can't go into, oh, hang on. Maybe I can throw that in there. There we go. Uh, salvage to receive. How do we salvage to receive? That's the question. I think it looks like we need the hammer, doesn't it? Kind of looks like we need to build ourselves the hammer, which is uh, in here. Grand hammer of wood. which we now have. Oh, check that out. <laughs> it's actually a weapon. That's pretty cool, isn't it? 
<laughs> you, you still with us, Lena Banana? So it says it says salvage to receive, but it uh, it doesn't say how to salvage something. Storm is louder than me now. <laughs> oh, really? It's going crazy. It's going absolutely crazy. Uh, all right. Hmm. Maybe we can salvage it from here. No. That's a campfire. This is just all, all creation. Just had to settle the dogs. I did try right-clicking. But it doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. Or did that just salvage then? That may have just salvaged then. Maybe, maybe we need to be in this menu to, to right click it. Perhaps. Uh, nope. We just dropped it. That's all we did. We just dropped it. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back into our inventory. Is it here? It's not in here, actually, is it? Where'd it go? Because we did pick it up, didn't we? Did it go in there? No, it didn't go in there. Ah, oh, there it is. It's right down the bottom there. Might swap those over, I think. There we go. Okay, it kind of doesn't, it doesn't give me any indication on how to... Uh, Open your inventory, then press and hold left click and right click. Left click and right click. There you go. Okay, so uh, let's, where's our sword? Throw our sword in there. Left and right click. There we go. I should have read that, shouldn't I? I should have read that. Okay, hold E to interact with the anvil. Uh, all right, the anvil's there. You can craft items using recipes you've discovered through leveling up or exploring the world. Recipes consume their ingredients and may require a nearby crafting station. A campfire, an anvil to craft weapons and armor, and uh, some items can be salvaged for raw materials. All right, where's our anvil? Where is our anvil? Right there, that is our anvil. All right, so I don't know what it wants us to craft. It wants us to craft a grand hammer. Craft a grand hammer. See, we get a little bit of that. I always get a little bit ahead of myself, don't I? Okay, there's one. We'll throw one in there. We'll throw that one up there. Lovely. Oh, I know. I know. I know, Hoppy. All right, just in case you don't know, Hoppy's just laughing at me. Okay, build a seer hut. Rebuild the seer hut. Okay, so what do we need to do this? Uh, we need to, we need, well, we've got plenty of wood. Okay, so we need some more wood pieces. So we'll head out and grab some more timber, I think. We'll grab some from out here. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, Hoppy. Come on, you've been with me for long enough, mate. You've been with me for long enough. All right, let's grab some of this timber here. Get rid of that one as well. <laughs> it's part of what you love about me, Hoppy. Chopping all these trees down. Now I'm hearing thunder, but I don't know whether the thunder's here or whether it's uh, whether it's in the game. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I know, as you should, as you should, Raoul. A sturdy hut. All right. You know not of your past. It is clear you have not forgotten your talents. Ah, we have villagers. As I had hoped, it is not by chance that I selected you. In life, you were a loyal Jarl, who died not in battle, but of the plague. An unbefitting fate for a thane such as yourself. <sighs> you belong in Valhalla, not Hell's frozen underworld. This is correct. Do not worry, mortal. In time, I will help you fill in the blanks of your past. But for now, 
we must focus on preparing you for the journey ahead. I, Heimdall, will be your guide. All right. There is someone here that I want you to meet. All right, so we've got to go and see. Yes, please. So we've got to go and see. We've got to speak to the seer. So now that we've built the seer's hut, then we have a seer as part of our village. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I reckon by the uh, by the next episode, we'll be uh, we'll probably be into some fighting and stuff like that. So talk to the seer. Warrior reborn. I am half done. Seer of Wartenkeld. Wartenkeld. What's left of it? Thank you for rebuilding this sacred domicile. I sense you are charged with points of Asgardian energy. A gift from Heimdall. Perhaps you should look within and see which of your attributes you wish to enhance with this energy. All right, here we go. So various activities like completing quests, reading lore stones and defeating enemies ground experience. When enough experience is earned, you will level up, granting you at attribute points to spend. Uh, attribute points may be spent in the character details screen to improve the four primary attributes, strength, dexterity, wisdom, and constitution. Each of these primary attributes uh, influences several related secondary attributes like health. Yeah, we know all this stuff. You must allocate these points evenly to raise all the faculties equally or channel several points into one area to specialize. It is your choice. Excellent. As you reach new levels of experience, you will be rewarded yet more points of Asgardian energy. Do not forget to assign them to your tributes each time you level up. Choose wisely, as energy assigned cannot be returned. Oh. When you are satisfied with your statistical right. improvements, a seafaring vessel recently ran aground not far from here. Please investigate. I fear Excellent. your arrival may have revealed this sanctuary to the world. Excellent, excellent. All right, so yeah, it does. It looks absolutely awesome, doesn't it? The Seas Hut looks brilliant. Oh, look, we can we can actually go in here as well. It looks so good. Uh, cook food. There we go. We can cook food there. What I did want to do. Ah uh, no, we won't do it now. We'll do it. Uh, we'll do it later. As we have a um, we actually have a um, a campfire on us. Oh, what else do we have? Well, it looks like we've got some meat or something. All right. There we go. We'll get the spear out. Okay, so uh, open your character details tab in the inventory and spend your attribute points. We can do that. Our attribute points, we have 10 to spend. So what we want to do, obviously, uh, dexterity. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll definitely put some more points into strength. Uh, wisdom, defense and god power. Uh, health and stamina for constitution. So we'll grab some of that. What do you reckon? And uh, what have we got? We've got five points left to spend. So um, probably I think we'll throw it in there. Uh, what else have we got? So we've got dexterity and then we've got wisdom increases, defense and god power. I think we'll throw up. I think we'll throw this one into dexterity, I reckon. <laughs> An actor or a director, you reckon? Uh, and we will throw that into wisdom. All right, beautiful. Okay, investigate the ship. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw this stuff, uh, flint and all that stuff, uh, tree pitch. Uh, used for crafting equipment and ships and leather scraps we'll throw over and we'll throw the timber over. I don't know, I can't see an inventory um, like a weight limit or anything like that. So, um, so we'll see how we go. We'll see how you go. I am, I'm directing a, uh, I'm directing a, uh, a direct fight against the, uh, a, a, against Loki. Cheers. All right, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end this 30 minute YouTube. Oh, there we go. Thor just struck that roof. See the burn hole in it? That's awesome. Okay.